of stuff especially on short games and I more details on the course and even a little bit on my mind so I felt like 2021 I was entering the season with uh, like uh, kind of refreshing as a new player so so like I am very happy with what I've done so far but I definitely even looking forward to some even better results when you say you worked uh, on your mental game, was there any specific platforms that you used or anything to work uh, in that regard? Uh, not really, because it was just the amounts of time I put into practice and then like play a couple tournament in 2020, end of 2020. And I mean, I've done pretty good, only missed like one cut, but um, still didn't really have a consistent result. And then we're trying to kind of talks about how like you know putting practice and how that I should change my mindset after I put practice in so you know believe in myself more and like trusting the process even more and um, even kind of get myself more exciting playing in tournaments so those kind of little things. And you mentioned some of the small details on the course what were some of those that you worked on in 2020? Um, you mean mental or? Right, no, just, you, mentioned, you mentioned some small details on the course, not necessarily oh. with your game, but just some of uh, the details of playing yeah. on the course. I feel like I was more careful when I'm playing a practice round, like I will like look into the golf course and try to think um, more of a strategy, like there will be holes that are good for me to go for it and there will be holes that it's good to have a par and go and I feel like that's one thing and also just trying to stay positive the whole round not letting a bad start kind of um, let myself down and things like that. Awesome. We'll go to Ken, Paisley. Ken if you can unmute. Ken, how difficult was it to be away from your family during the pandemic? It was really hard because I haven't seen my parents for uh, 18 months, I think, till right now. And I'm probably still not having a plan to go back to China until maybe falls this year. But um, I mean, it's something that I have to deal with as a professional player. and. I definitely miss them a lot and also my grandparents because they are getting older but um, thank goodness I we have the technology these days that we can FaceTime and call them and that makes it a little bit easier. How often are you able to FaceTime with them? Um, with my grandparents it's a little harder because uh, they can't they don't answer the phone call from American number so I have to really find time to like like my early morning which is their night after dinner I try to FaceTime them probably every once a week and 
when I was in Singapore and Thailand playing those two weeks of tournament, it makes it a lot easier. So I talk to her probably like two, three times a week. Yeah. Has it felt worth it, the success, to be away from your family for so long? I think it's, uh, um, I will say yes, because um, I feel like as a professional golfer, you have only that many years to be able to um, play and I don't know, I, I have my own plan, so I'm not going to play golf for the rest of my life. So I feel like this couple of years, if I choose to, you know, play, playing full time on tour, I need to sacrifice something. And well, I mean, pandemic is a little unexpected, but um, even before that, I always I will be in the States for like straight six months without seeing my parents. So they kind of used to it. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Janet, uh, I just want to touch base a little bit on the Olympics. The women's Olympic field is finalized on June 28. Two tournaments remain to make a climb up the Rolex rankings, and you're chasing the second spot on the Chinese team to join Tenshin Fung in Japan. Uh, you, Lou, not here this week, but she's two spots ahead of you. When it comes to Olympics, do you view this week as a pivotal week to have a strong finish with her not competing? Um, I mean, Olympic is definitely one of my... Uh, go to you mean I mean this year to be playing Olympic is one of my goals this year but I can't too like I can't look into that too much is first the world the world ranking points change so quickly because it's like a three years turn so you can't really calculate what like what position you need to finish to be able to catch her up or something and I felt like um, you know playing well on tour it's gonna lead to a good result so Besides playing Olympic, my other goal is win on tour. So I think if I can do that, then you know the rest will take care of itself. What type of relationship do you and you have, and has it changed over the years? I mean, we've been always kind of similar like relation. We, we we never really changed a whole lot just because of the Olympics. Um, I mean, we even paired together in the in the third round in the U.S. Open, and we were talked about it. And I felt like, you know, we we are more, you know, we always friend first and then and then we are not one of the not many Chinese players that are out on tour. So I will always root for her and no matter what, but um, at the same time, we're competitive. And but, you know, that's just just a little part of our life. So I think besides that, we're still good friends. Will it change a little bit next week with the major and the final cutoff? Uh, will there be a little more aggression and the excitement to make a run? I mean, definitely, for sure, because everyone's chasing the same goals. And I mean, unfortunately, there's only two people who's going to make it. So, but I'm going to try my best. She's going to try her best and then just see what's going to come out. Yeah. You were a 2016 Olympian. Um, just how much of a goal is it to make the Chinese team again, and how much of an honor is it to represent your country? Well, it's always the, a really big honor because Olympic is every four years. So imagine a player in their career, how many Olympic can they play the most? I mean, I wouldn't say anything more than three or I mean four the most. So every one of them is really important, and I feel like. 2016, I was still a little too young that I didn't enjoy it as much as I should be. So I definitely looking forward to go for another one and you know have a better result, enjoy it way more than last time. <laughs> uh, you're coming off a couple of challenging events on the West Coast. You mentioned the Women's Open and then Meta Heal Championship last week. Um, in regards to rest and preparation and adjusting to the East Coast, how best do you do that in such a quick transition from West to East Coast? Well, this morning I had a hard time to get out of bed because it's a three hours time different. Um, but I think I think like this week will be easier because uh, May I came to play every year and then the course is kind of familiar. I heard they did some little changes, but. Um, We'll see, but uh, overall, like the grass and the green, I'm pretty familiar with. 
And then this is the third week, so I tried to save some energy this week by um, not playing that much practice round. And I know next week is a brand new golf course, and I heard it's a great one too. So uh, I'm just looking forward to play. If you guys have any more questions for Janet, please comment in the chat function. Otherwise, we're going to let her out of here on this one. Janet, you mentioned uh, all the changes, over 300 trees removed all new bunkers, new teeing grounds here at Blythe Field. Um, but you played the weekend here four times, and six starts with two top ten finishes, despite the changes, um, if you haven't seen them yet. What is it about Blythe Field that kind of catches your eye that you like? Um, yeah, I haven't seen the course, but I think first thing first, out of the course, I had the best host family this, this week. and. I mean, I stay with her since my rookie year, and it's just really nice to always come back to her. And I last last night we had dinner together, just kind of catch up because we didn't even see each other in 2020. So that's always a great feeling. And for this golf course, I just felt like it's a it's a challenging golf course and required to um, hit. It hit it straight which I'm pretty good at mm -hmm. so and then like the green um, I re they roll really pure so I also really love playing on this green yeah who is the host family uh, her name is uh, Beth Markham and she well the first couple of years she used to work as volunteer on the 17th hall but she's a nurse so um, she's pretty busy, so I don't think she's working as a volunteer this year, but yeah, she'll be watching. She'll be supporting. Yeah. Love it. Awesome. Thanks for your time, Jan. Thank you. Can we get a couple in? Uh... No, but I'm going to go in there. Yeah. On here? Yeah. If I mute this.